Hey Capricorn, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your weekly reading for February 10th through the 17th. We're going to start off with three oracle cards. This is the journey of love. I don't use this deck very often. I don't know why. I love it. And then we're going to pull a Queen of the Moon Oracle. And then a Romance Angels card. Alright, Capricorn, let's see what we have. What do we have here? Angel of Jupiter Awaken. Alright, so Alright, so what this card is telling you is that there could be an opportunity of a lifetime coming in this week, and it's also telling you to accept it. Okay, so if something comes in that almost feels too good to be true or magical in some way, this card is saying accept it as true as right. Okay, then we have gratitude. So, you know, these two cards really go hand in hand. You know, it's like feeling gratitude for this this offer or something coming in an opportunity that can change your life it might change your life completely and you have the choice to be skeptical about it or you have the choice to just trust it accept it and be grateful for it okay this is card number six Okay, I'm seeing so many sixes this week. It's unbelievable. It's six is about harmony and love. And then we have uh, 23 here, which breaks down into a five. And five is about change. So there's an opportunity that's coming in about potentially love and harmony that could literally change your life in a very positive way. And these, this card specifically is saying accept it. And then we have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So this feels like somebody reaching out with something big to say. Something big is happening here. All right, so I'm going to pull the cards for the bottom row first, which is you. And then the Arcanum deck, this is the Thelema deck, and this is the Arcanum deck, and I'm using this deck to, whoops, for the person that you're watching the video for. This is the Tarot de la Nuit, which will be used for clarification. First card out for you, we have the Page of Cups. There it is. There is some type of message or romantic love offer coming in this week for you. This could be you receiving it. This could be you giving it. 
All right, what do we have for this person? Nine of Swords. All right, so this is my least favorite card in the deck, okay? Because it's not based in reality. It's not based in fact. It's based in the stories that we tell ourselves when we're alone. It's us making a situation worse than it has to be. This is somebody thinking about worst case scenarios. So when does this come up? Usually when somebody's getting ready to do something that they're afraid of, okay? And they're thinking about worst case scenario. Doesn't mean that's going to happen, but this is not a good energy to be in regardless. All right, so we have Knight of Swords for you. So this is this card is representing exactly what these two cards are telling you not to do. This is overanalyzing a situation, being critical of a situation, um, possibly looking at the negative sides of it. Um, in other words, if an opportunity comes in, instead of accepting it and being grateful, you might be critical of it. You might be, you know, this isn't exactly the way that I expected it, okay? Or not the way I expected it to come in. Page of Cups, maybe the offer feels small after a long period of time. But remember, this person is in the energy of being afraid and thinking the worst is going to happen. Okay, look at that. They are desperately afraid that either you have walked away for good, okay, and there's no coming back, or they're seeing this as the worst case scenario. This is terrible energy. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then there you are as Eight of Swords. You know, this is what happens. Eight of Swords happens when, you know, we can't see beyond what's right in front of us. And something is right in front of you this week that maybe you're not seeing. You know, why are you, Eight of Swords, keeping yourself trapped? Possibly because... This situation is asking you to make yourself more vulnerable than you're used to. You might have to be in a very vulnerable energy. And this can be bound by illusion too. Like, again, you're not seeing something. What do we have up here? Strength. So this might be... Um, you know, the energy that this person starts off the weekend. But then we have strength, card of Leo. You might be dealing with a Leo. Um, somebody finds the courage regardless. You know, and it might be something small that, you know, this person, maybe this is somebody you haven't talked to in a long time. And it's taking this person a lot of courage to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Because where this fear is, is in the Eight of Cups. You know, these are feelings. This person has fear around their feelings. This person could have left you at some point and doesn't know where you stand. They might perceive you as angry. Okay? I feel like, because Knight of Swords can be that. Um, it can also be, you know, a rash decision. You might make a rash decision that makes you feel trapped in some way. There's a lot, there's a lot going on here. And then this person, Four of Cups. So this person, you know, <coughs> regardless of this strength, they might need a lot of strength this week because... They're not in they're not in the best energy, honestly, to make this offer. They might feel 
you know, some type of pressure this week to do this, and they may not feel ready because they're looking at this situation from a negative point of view, from a lower vibration. You know, and again, up here, just like here, there's something you're not seeing. There's something this person isn't seeing too with this Ace of Cups. There is a new beginning here when, you know, they're worried about this possibly being finito, over, for good. There is this new beginning there. And with this card's strength, you know, you can see that she's looking. She's literally looking right at that cup. Like, that could be what allows this person to do this this week. Because we definitely have something amazing coming in this week for you that you can be thankful for that's around a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So, you know, if this happens this week, it's going to be in spite of, you know, the fact that this person is scared to death to do this. And there we have you, King of Pentacles. I feel like this heart-to-heart -heart conversation that could be happening this week would make you very happy, open up your heart, allow you to feel generous and grateful for whatever this person brings to you. But I really, we really need to get some clarification on this one, on this reading. So I want to clarify this Nine of Swords for this person. And I want to clarify the Strength for this person. For you, I want to clarify the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords, whoops. Nine of Swords clarified by the Five of Cups, okay? So this person is desperately afraid because, you know, they might feel like you were taken away from them at one point, and that's their worst-case scenario that they're thinking about, that you could be taken away and they're left wishing they had done things differently at some point. Strength clarified by the Page of Cups. What do we have down here? The Page of Cups. Okay, that's what this person is gearing strength up for, is this page of cups, this is romantic love. This is a message about romantic love. This is this. Okay, and this is an opportunity that you're being told to accept. So, in other words, even if it doesn't come in exactly the way that you want it to, and this card is still here, it's telling you to accept it and be grateful for it because there's, there's, there, it feels like there's a lot more underneath it. And even if this starts off very small, it leads to a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to happen. So what do we have here for Page of Cups? Six of Pentacles. So by this person making this romantic offer, whatever it is, it helps to balance something out between the two of you. You know, there could have been an imbalance here. Somebody could have been giving more than the other in the past, which did not work. Okay? So by having this conversation, which is very important, you know, that you can choose to be very grateful for, it leads to more. It leads to something life-changing. It may seem small in the beginning, but it leads to something life-changing. Eight of Swords for you, clarified by Ten of Swords. Okay. So 
So this just clarifies this Eight of Swords of something that you're not seeing possibly this week. You know, and I truly, I feel like you might be, there might be some type of disappointment with this offer. Like it's just, it's, it's not what you expected. It's not how you expected this person to come towards you. It feels small. It feels insignificant. But I feel like it's really important to accept it. And that's what this card is saying is to accept it because it leads to more. It leads to something life changing. It gets you out of this eight of swords, ten of swords, you know, feeling th this is self-pity. You know, maybe you felt betrayed in the past and you have felt trapped in this situation for a while. And you've gotten to the point maybe where you're a little bit angry about it. But at the end of the day, I feel like whatever happens here this week is something that makes you very, very happy. But this person is a little bit tortured up here about what they're, what they're doing, what they're gearing up to do. It feels huge to them. It may not feel huge to you initially, but it is huge. And this card is telling you to be grateful for whatever this person does. Because it means a lot more than it seems in the beginning. All right, so I'm pulling the, the bottom card from each deck, and this is for Valentine's Day. All right, so we have Two of Wands. We have King of Swords. And we have Queen of Swords. Okay, so anytime we have the king and the queen of the same suit, especially next to each other, this is a soulmate type of connection. The two of wands says that both of you have made a decision about each other. Okay, you know what you want to do with each other. How the reason that you're probably going to be a little bit disappointed, at least initially. And this is why this card is coming up saying to accept it because it's going to be very life-changing is because the two of you are in a very um, unemotional place. Like it's going to be very matter of fact, this conversation, it's going to be very matter of fact, you know, very, you know, talking about the mundane, possibly talking about, you know, what's been going on with the two of you. It feels very surface, but there is so much underneath the surface. And that's why this heart-to-heart -heart conversations is coming up, telling you both, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Don't be in this cold energy. You're both coming at each other very cold. But the point is, is that you are coming towards each other. It's it's like pulling teeth, it feels like, this week, but it feels like you are coming together. But what it's really about is this, heart-to-heart -heart conversations and feeling grateful that this opportunity is presented to you because there's much, much more underneath the surface. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you this week, and I will be doing um, some special readings on Friday. And... At that point, I'll let you know if um, I'm going to open up my schedule on Saturday to do same-day readings, if that's something you're interested in. Um, otherwise, I am available for personal readings. Just reach out. I will respond quickly. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. And open up your heart, okay? That might be something that both of you are struggling with this week. But that's what it's about, okay? All right. Thanks, Capricorn. Have a great week. Bye-bye.